Do you have any uh, relatives in the armed forces, military? Doesn't matter if you, you know. Do I not. do. I had an uncle. I grew, well, I grew up with an uh, uncle that lived with us from the time I was about six years old to just nine. It's about three years. And my uncle, uh, he worked in the science part. So they would do these really cool experiments uh, on uh, sleep deprivation on soldiers, on what they remember, uh, and memory games. And he would bring home some of these memory games to play with us. And I didn't know if you knew this, and you probably do, but do you know that the military has his, uh, an, their own alphabet? You didn't know that. It's, per, it's cool. And I, I, they actually, how they trained them, he, I actually have his old box that he left after he moved out and with the set of cards that they would use to train. So we're going to take that. This is really cool. I love it. So this is actually his old uh, locker, and these were uh, some of the cards. So if I tell you, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. What would you think A was? Alpha. That's right. It's alpha. Uh, you do this. It's pretty cool. So they would train them with these uh, phonetic cards. So let's try a tough one. Uh, K. Let's see. Kilo. See, L, uh, L is uh, Lima. I have an O here for Oscar. It was just different types of uh, letters. They would be trained to learn. So we're going to uh, use these cards here in a second and how he would do this game is he would it was kind of it would kind of be like the game of memory and he would play it with me and my sister and he would always talk about connections it's important for soldiers to have a connection with one another if they're gonna work on the same team being brother and sister it was important that we had a connection he said it's always important to keep that connection so you guys I take it know each other yes perfect <laughs> so we have a connection yes. all right so I'm gonna have one person uh, choose the letters we're going to use, and I'll have that be you. Okay. And I'll have you, you'll you'll see what you're going to do in a second. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a row of letters, okay? And then you're going to tell me what row uh, you want to use, okay? So whatever row you want to use, we'll use. To do one more. So we can use one, two, three, or four. Which which row do you want to use? Uh, three. Three. This one right here. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you want me to start? Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So we'll uh, lay this out for you. That's where we're going to start. Now, do you want me to go left or right? Left. Left. My left? Yes. Perfect. That's for you. Left or right? Uh, right. Right. Okay. Left or right? Uh, right. Right. One more. Left or right? Uh, left. Left. Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, uh, you can take those uh, and shuffle them up, mix them up. You got some uh, letters there. There should be all, uh, hopefully, if you, if you have a lot of that repeat or go over, let me know and we'll just change them out, okay? Should I look at them? Yeah, take a look at them. The important thing is we have something that we can actually uh, spell. So if you have like too many I's or too many O's, we'll just, we'll, ch we'll change them out. Nope, One good. Each. Excellent. Um, can, I want you to, can you use all those uh, letters to spell a word? So I don't want you to spell like a short letter like at or it. See if we can use all of them. And you can mix them around and just see if you can get something really good. I believe if I spelled it correctly. <laughs> so you got a word? Yes. Great. Now, did you see the word that you got? Mm. Good, because I didn't see, I didn't look at your page because if you did, I was going to tell you not to, but, so only you know this word. But like I said, you guys have a connection. So we're, I'm going to take a few items that are, that are in my uncle's locker here. And I want you to look at her, but first I want, before we do that, I just want you to just, is that a, is that a wedding ring? Yes. What? Touch the ring. It's a good connection. We're going to lay out some, uh, some pieces here. Perfect. What do you think? Good? Yep. Good. Now, uh, one of these objects through that touch, and that touch alone and that connection is going to draw you to one of the objects. 
I have a postcard, I have a toy, a record, a photo, a book, and a card. Which one of these objects, through that touch, speaks out to you? Say the photo. The photo. Excellent. Now, I'm going to give you an opportunity to change your mind. Would you like to change your mind? Go back and forth between the record and the photo. It's up to you. I'll stick with the photo. You stick with the photo? Last call. Okay, I want to stick with the photo. Um, you could have got uh, a sci-fi book, a toy, a baseball card, or a record, and you stuck with the photo. Excellent. So you could have spelled card or cards. That says five letters. You had five letters, yes? Something like that, maybe. Uh, robot. Vinyl, any of those words that stick out to you? Mm -mm. Oh, so far, good. Did you? What about the word photo? Mm -mm. What word uh, did you end up spelling out? Venus. Venus. Could you lay it out here so we could see? That's Venus. That's how you spell it, and. Out of all the objects, you were drawn to this, and you were, you were kind of torn, but I think a record was sort of a personal choice, yeah. and this felt like you should have picked it. Correct. Uh, I know this woman. That's what makes it crazy. This was actually the lady that ended up marrying my uncle, and she actually wrote something on the back. She said, I'm glad you chose me. Love always. Read that last line for me. Venus. Your Venus. Oh my gosh. Wow. There you go. <laughs> thank you guys. Wow. Hey, don't thank me. I mean, I thank you. <laughs> that's all, that's all that's connection. Great. That's all connection. Well, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. <laughs>